Hi there, this is Liz with you from Making Moves and I wanted to talk to you for a minute about leading and following. So you might notice that in our Making Moves videos we are asking the guys to lead or initiate the movements and we're asking the ladies to follow or follow through with the movements. And contrary to what you might expect, um, following is not passive. It involves really paying attention to your partner and responding to his body language and making it easy for him to move you around. Um, now, all that being said, I know that sometimes we might not like to follow, partially because maybe we want to decide when a move is going to happen, and I totally understand that. Um, there is absolutely no problem with switching roles, so ladies, if you want to do the, the guy's part, um, and the guy can be the follower, that's fine. Obviously, gender doesn't matter either. It can, you know, a, a leader can be any gender and a follower can be any gender. Um, it usually works best if one person is doing the initiating and the leading and the other person is doing the twirling and the, the moving around. Now, if you want to lead and twirl, um, that makes it a little bit unfair for your partner because now he doesn't really have anything to do. Um, if you can figure out a way to do that and for both of you to still be having fun, obviously that's totally fine. There's really no right or wrong way. Um, another thing that I do want to add is that followers, if you're um, dancing with a guy and you you know, really want him to do a particular move that you just learned, you can always just ask nicely like, hey, can we do that move? And then the last thing I want to say about it is that um, you know, when you're learning these moves, be supportive and be accommodating of each other and um, treat others how you want to be treated. <laughs> and above all, have a good time. Okay, we'll see you soon.